Hello friends, we are in the mountains and we are preparing because we believe that there is a financial crisis coming. We believe that the end is near. We believe that Jesus is soon to come. So there are many things that we have to prepare in order to go through this crisis. We know that Jesus is coming soon. We believe that with all our hearts that we do not have a lot of time left here. I am here in the basement of our house to make this little video to help you to see and understand how we prepare physically, mentally and spiritually. So we need these three preparation in order for the crisis that is coming for the mark of the beast crisis, the, the Sunday law and this time where no man will be able to buy or sell. I have I lit this cooker up. This is very hot here when this is lighting. This warms up the whole basement down here. Um, we also use this for cooking as well. So we just lift this up and you can see that you can put your pans here. You can even bake bread inside of here and then you close it back and your bread your bread can be baking in there, you can cook. So this is one of the things that we um, we bought this in order to try to prepare ourselves when we are not able to buy or sell so that we will be able to to be able to cook and and do many things in this. Um, it's very cold outside, it's raining so we are here. Um, the Bible says that in the book of Revelation chapter 13 it says that there's a time coming it says here that um, and he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bound to receive a mark on their right hand or on their forehead and that no one may be able to buy or sell except he that had the mark of the beast so we believe that this part of the prophecy will be fulfilled soon before the enforcement of the mark of the beast, beast which is Sunday worship so if this is going to be fulfilled and we know it's already fulfilling in many countries we see that India and China Russia is leading the way in a biometric system and we know that this is coming everywhere all over Europe is is fast coming biometric that no one will be able to buy or sell just now without some form of government control. Um, so we know that this system is coming in place that, that no one will be able to buy or sell very soon. You will not be able to buy or sell. You will not be able to do anything without some form of government control. We've seen the Pope, he have met with all the, the merchants of the earth. That's what it says in the book of Revelation chapter 18. He met with all the merchants of the earth and the kings of the earth to commit fornications with the, with the Antichrist. Well, since Pope Francis has met with all the kings of the earth, the merchants of the earth, the businessmen, Mark Zuckerberg and, and um, iPhone and all these leaders of the world, the merchants, the businessmen, to form a biometric system that will be able to control everyone well you know that that they have already four-fifth of the world uh, population is in a financial grid they are already in a financial grid so this document I read that they have by 2020 to in include the other one-fifth of the world in a financial grid so there's one-fifth that is not in a financial grid grid so this is the this is what they are working on the businessmen of the of this world is working to to include those that are outside the financial grid so you will be all will be trapped in a financial grid when you are trapped in the financial grid you will then bow down and worship on Sunday because you will not be able to buy yourself you will not be able to have your food to pay your rent to pay your bills to go to work and do many things you will not be able to do it because 
unless you are in this financial grid, you are trapped in it and you are not able to escape out of it. The other way or the other thing can happen to you is that you decide not to go along and you die as a martyr. So I, one or the other, either you will die as a martyr if you are trapped in this financial grid or if you do not come out of it. And so they are working by 2020. Great changes are coming. 2020 for the Illuminatis is a big year for the Illuminatis. Great changes are coming. You must prepare yourself for these changes that are coming because the Illuminatis are preparing to trap you and they know that one-fifth of the world, that's 20% of the world, is still outside of the financial grid. They cannot control you if you are outside the financial grid. That's why God says to go out of the cities, get out of the cities, go into the mountains. We are here in the mountains and I want to go further into the mountains. I, I am going to sell this place so that we can go further into the mountains and where we are not in this financial grid. And God wants us, that is what, that is the counsel God has given us, to go away further into the mountains. If you do not do that, it is likely you will receive the mark of the beast. You will bow down and worship on Sunday. When the Antichrist and the government make laws to, to bring everyone to church on Sunday, you will end up going because you are in a financial grid and you have no way of supporting yourself. You are dependent upon the government for your food. You will be in serious trouble. You have rejected the counsel of God. You, you do not understand what is happening. Well, we are very close to the soon coming of Jesus. And Jesus says all these things will happen right before he comes back. These things will happen. The mark of the beast will come. The time when no man will be able to buy or sell is coming. That time is right before us. This 2020 great changes will take place. You will see in many countries already you are not able to buy or sell. So countries like India and China, people are not able to buy or sell there unless they are the government federal system there. And this is how it's going to be everywhere, right across the world. It's going to be like that. So you, we need to prepare for this time. We need to stand with Jesus Christ, not with man. We do not want to be controlled by the New World Order, by the Illuminatis, by the Antichrist, Pope Francis. We must prepare for this time. We must get out of the cities now. Those who are making their dwelling there and those who remain there, they will receive the mark of the beast unless they are prepared to die as a martyr. But if not, they will receive the mark of the beast. God has given them enough time to get out. He has given them counsels to get out. And, you know, to get into the mountains, you don't need a lot of money. We, we live in the mountains and we don't need a lot of money. I can tell you that you only need a little bit of land to buy. And even you can get many lands free far in the mountains you can go and learn to grow your food, learn to do things, learn to survive in the mountains and learn to be with God in the mountains. This is what God is calling His people to do, to leave the cities, to get out and to go into the mountains. This is what our work is. This is what God is saying for us to do. We have not many time left here, not a lot of time left here. God wants us to leave and go. And this is what we should be doing right now. Well, we are praying and fasting every Friday in the mountains with some other brethren. So every Friday we join with some other brethren in the mountains to fast and pray. We will be doing that every Friday until Jesus returns. So wherever you are, whichever country you are in, whichever continent you are in, join us in prayer and fast every Friday. Every Friday we are praying and fasting. From sunset to sunset we will be praying and fasting. Please join us because we need to spend this time with God. We need to have this moment with God. We do not pray enough. We need to pray as never before. 
the end is here, the crisis is here. We need to pray as much as we can, like Jesus prayed and fast in the mountains. This is what we are doing. And we want you to join us wherever you are in praying and fasting. Take time out. Take time away from your work. Leave the work on Friday. We ask for every Friday off. And pray and fast as never before. Pray for the Spirit of the living God to fall upon us. We need to call upon God. God is going to rain down His spirits very soon. And we, in order to finish this work, we have a great work upon this earth to do. To give earth's final warning. We must be given earth's final warning. Sending out the final warning to this earth. And this, we need the power and spirit of the living God upon us. So join us in prayer and fast thing every Friday.